For years, he has been speculating about what is stored inside Hangar 1 or Hangar 1, a maximum security complex located in California. Its real name is Moffett Airfield and it is located south of the San Francisco Bay. It includes approximately 1,000 acres of land with three hangars, one building, and two airstrips. Hangar Uno is owned by NASA, but the space agency wants to lease the giant Google in these three sheds where it wants to create a learning space open to the public where the history of the hangar and its role in technology and in Silicon Valley will be shown. The citizens of the area, however, do not fail to highlight a strange activity the times when they begin to see strange things or maneuvers within these complex of difficult access. Some conspiracy theorists believe that to cause incredible unrest among the population, including uncertainty and curiosity, may be the hiding place of alleged extraterrestrial entities that collaborate with the United States government. The investigator Phil Schneider has provoked a lot of controversy with his statements about the aliens, in particular what he said about a being called Valiant Thor. This foreigner is working in the secret operations of the government, Valiant Thor seems human, but has some important physiological differences and comes mainly from Venus. Venus owns cities and underground bases and is not what it seems. Valiant supposedly worked for the government of the United States since 1937. At least this is the story told by Schneider, a geologist and engineer who said he had a level 1 security clearance for the government's secret projects. He helped build underground military bases and worked on the famous base of Area 51. He arrived in 1937, but sometime in the 1950s he left Earth in his spaceship, wrote Frank E. Strange. Thor was about two meters tall, had brown hair, blue eyes, and six fingers in each hand. It was about 500 years old, an IC of 1,200, and the blood system was like that of an octopus. But the most surprising thing is that he could speak 100 languages. There are some soldiers who have spoken of extraterrestrials explicitly as Schneider. But there are also many who believed in Schneider after seeing his videos, as Gordon Duff said he called it a real exploration that discovered the UFO phenomenon in an issue of the American magazine Veterans Today. Unfortunately, Schneider was found dead in his apartment on January 17. 1996 under suspicious circumstances. Many believe he was killed even if it was published as suicide.